Hey y'all, this is David here. Look, I'm making this video uh, because if we haven't realized anything by now, first of all, you're not promised tomorrow, people. Okay? That's why when I see a lot of these things that go on YouTube to this day, between individuals, people, threatening people, making fun of people's families, wanting to kill people, Do you, do, you, do you guys not not realize how childish that is? Do you, I mean, seriously, and y'all are grown adults. When nothing is promised for you for tomorrow, as good as my life is going right now, I could be gone just like that. How do I want to be remembered? How do I want to go out? What, what do I want my focus to be? I don't want my focus to be uh, fighting internet battles that with people you never met. Fighting internet battles about unimportant stuff. Kobe Bryant's passing. I grew up watching, obviously, a lot of uh, uh, athletes in my time and, and everything. And, you know, I'd be a hypocrite to say I wouldn't be sad if Dominique passes or Dale Murphy or Chipper Jones or, or a lot of the guys that I've met throughout the years. And Kobe Bryant hurts. I'm not a Laker fan, never have claimed to be. But I respect the good people of the game. I respect the legends of the game, the ones who make, uh, who play the game the right way, who influence on a positive level, and who are a staple and leave a mark, a positive mark, with whatever their chosen profession is. Now, Kobe Bryant's passing is utterly shocking, and it's sad, you know. This guy, only 41 years old, a family, kids, all the money in the world, but he has a lot of fans, and his passing hurts more than others. That's why, again, when I, that's why I stay away from this YouTube drama stuff. When I see it, I see families, family men going at it with each other. Why? You have wives, you have kids, you got careers, you got jobs. Why? Who... What are you trying to prove while going back and forth with people you don't even know personally? When you not, when you don't meeting up at people's houses, do you not know that some things could go severely wrong? Have we not learned anything from Antonio Brown's situation? When Preston Fox, a good friend of mine, passed away from suicide earlier in the year, a lot of you guys laughed at it. Not knowing that his family is affected for the rest of his life. His true friends that knew him growing up affect, are affected for the rest of their life. I met Preston three, four, five occasions. It hurts. And yet some of y'all are the same people that are grieving over the passing of Kobe Bryant. You know, I find that kind of ironic as well. But if we haven't learned anything from, from those two tragedies, you don't know what people are thinking. You need to be careful uh, how you talk to people. And no matter how great everything is going, it can be taken away from you just like that. So you people on YouTube are going to do what you want. But I'm out of it. There's a reason why I'm, I, I don't get involved. And I will not get involved and do not involve me. Because I will tell you do not involve me. I'm telling you. But you got, a lot of you guys really need to reevaluate everything. How, how do you want to be known? How do you want to spend your moments on this earth? Because you might be doing all this stuff thinking you got 15, 10, 20, 20, 30, 40 years left. You don't know. You could die tonight. You could die tomorrow. You could leave your family, your kids, your job, your mother, your brother. With my mom having that stroke about a week and a half ago, it makes me think even more. I know some of y'all may actually understand this and do something positive for the rest of your life and focus on the right things, and some of y'all are just going to blow it off. Well, you know, that's your choice, and this is my channel. Okay, so I don't know what else to tell you, but I don't, whether I like anybody in the world or not, I don't want to see anybody shortchange their life and not accomplish what they want because they're focused on the wrong thing, get into some trouble that's definitely avoidable you don't get into drama stupid drama 
Nine out of 10 times you're gonna be okay, but again, nothing still is promised. So rest in peace, Kobe Bryant. A shame, it's a crying shame. And I hope this at least touches one person. One person. All right, I'm out.